In this tutorial, I'll show you how to use the AI translation and lip sync feature in Filmora 14. Welcome to this video. My name is David and I hope you're well wherever you are around the world. Now, if you don't have Filmora 14, can you use the link in the description below to download and follow along as I show you how it works. Now, I'll begin by importing my video, this clip. I want to kind of translate and lip sync. Let's match the media. Uh, it's just a 13 second clip. In this tutorial, I'll show you how to use the script's eye contact feature to simulate eye contact with a camera even when you're reading from a script. Welcome to this video. My name is David and I hope you're well wherever you are around the world. It's just a short video and now let's use the AI translation and lip sync feature. I'll just begin by just right clicking my clip on the media here and then click on AI translation. Once I click on it, a new dialog box is going to open up. From here, if uh, the translation type, if you're not on the translate and voice caption, you'll probably be on only translate caption. Now, what you need to do is just make sure you have translate voice and caption. I'll click on that. And then from here, you'll need to set the source language and the target language. The source language is US English. And let's assume uh, you want to target maybe Spanish. That is the lip sync. Uh, and the translation to be in Spanish. Now, of importance here is that you'll need to click on the lip sync feature. It's still in beta, so I'll just click on it. And once I do, one thing you need to notice is that the credits for this keep going up. So if I hover over this particular one for best results, please follow requirements below. Face forward for the duration of the video, as you can see, to minimize obvious facial movement shaking, avoid any obstructions to the face. So this video is clearly uh, highlighting all those particular requirements. Now, if I'm satisfied with my selections here, I'll just click on generate and it's going to begin processing. It's going to upload to their servers. Uh, let's wait and see. Uh, I kind of just want to see the results of what is going to look like. It's translating. Estimated time, you'll see the number of uh, minutes it's going to take. Remember, it's a 13 second clip. So depending on the length of your video and also uh, more or less the servers that are doing all this online, then it could take you uh, quite a while. So you may need to go get a cup of coffee or something and I'll, I'll be back once it's almost done so that you can continue with this particular uh, translation and lip sync feature. Now the translation is almost done this particular aspect of it and you can also notice that we are going to kind of get a new clip clip underscore clip 3 lip sync so uh, that is one thing you need to note that uh, we are going to have a new clip generated that is actually going to have uh, the new voice that we have selected once uh, the translation is actually done uh, let's just continue waiting and we'll see the final result uh, or once everything is done uh, in the stipulated time that I've mentioned right here. So the translation is done. And as you can see, we now have some new clips on the timeline. Now we've got the original clip and then we have translate clip right here. The translate clip right here also has captions available in our target language. So let's actually mute the clip below and actually even hide it and play what we have. In this tutorial, te mostraré cómo usar los scripts, función de contacto visual para simular el contacto visual con la cámara, incluso cuando estás leyendo un guión. Bienvenido a este video. Mi nombre es David y espero que estés bien. Now, as you can see, the translation is done. It's still in beta, as, I've, as you've seen. Uh, it's a little bit fast for my liking. And I don't think that's how more or less Spanish people speak. So one thing that we need to take a note of is it's still in beta, but that is how you can use the AI translation and lip sync feature in Filmora 14. So test it out and see if it works best for your use case scenario. Also, depending on the speed, I wish there was a slider uh, right here. Uh, where do we go? Uh, in this particular clip here, mm, we should have it somewhere here. In the AI translation, I wish there was a slider to kind of uh, showcase or reduce how fast 
the person speaks or the, uh, the talent uh, that should be uh, really be awesome uh, and also try and match uh, more or less uh, based on how somebody's speaking as much as they are matching uh, the captions uh, but it's still a good feature to try out and test out i believe with a couple of iterations then the lip sync will be much better and the translation is going to be much better so thank you so much for watching until next time stay safe and never stop learning thanks for watching